do you know the health benefits related to sexual activity? What is the impact of sexual education in adolescence on making healthy decisions in adulthood? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Sexual activity and orgasms are not only pleasurable, but also offer health benefits. From the release of endorphins to improved sleep and strengthening the immune system, we'll explore how orgasm can positively contribute to your overall well-being. Sexual education in adolescence positively influences making healthy decisions in adulthood by providing information about sexuality, disease prevention, contraception, and respect in relationships. Effects on relationships. Excessive pornography consumption can have negative effects on interpersonal relationships, such as decreased sexual desire towards the partner or unrealistic comparison with pornography standards. Erectile dysfunction and couples. Therapy. Erectile dysfunction can have a significant impact on a couple's relationship. Couples therapy can help address communication issues and improve sexual intimacy between partners. Erectile dysfunction and masturbation. Masturbation does not cause erectile dysfunction, and in fact, it can be a useful way for men to maintain sexual health and erectile function. Erectile dysfunction and psychological disorders. Anxiety, stress, low self-esteem, and other psychological disorders can contribute to erectile dysfunction by affecting sexual response and arousal. Erectile dysfunction and smoking. Smoking can damage blood vessels and reduce blood flow to the penis, which can contribute to erectile dysfunction in smokers. Ethics and responsibility. Open relationships require a high level of responsibility and ethics. Couples must be respectful of each other's feelings and boundaries and address any conflicts or issues openly and honestly. Experimentation with temperatures. Some women find experimenting with different temperatures during foreplay exciting, such as using ice or warm cloths to alternate between sensations of cold and heat on the skin. Exploration of sexuality. The text is not limited solely to sexual positions, but also addresses topics such as seduction, romance, eroticism, and physical attraction, fostering a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of human sexuality. Eye contact. Eye contact during foreplay can increase intimacy and emotional connection between partners, creating a sense of complicity and shared excitement. Fetish community. There is an active fetish community online and offline where individuals with similar interests can connect, share experiences, and explore their fantasies safely and consensually. These communities often organize events, parties, and conventions dedicated to fetishes. Flexibility and adaptability. Flexibility and adaptability are key when exploring new sexual positions. Some women may find positions more physically challenging, while others may enjoy more relaxed and comfortable positions. Foot fetishism. Foot fetishism involves sexual attraction to feet, including their appearance, shape, and texture. Some people find excitement in worshiping, kissing, licking, or massaging another person's feet. Gender change fantasies. Some people have sexual fantasies about changing gender or experiencing sexuality from the perspective of the other gender. These fantasies can be a way to explore gender identity and sexual expression. Genital herpes is a chronic and recurrent viral infection caused by the herpes simplex virus, HSV. It has no cure, but antiviral medications can help reduce the frequency and severity of outbreaks. Guided meditation. Guided meditation can be an effective technique to induce a state of deep relaxation during foreplay, which can increase sensory receptivity and sexual pleasure. Historical stigma. Throughout history, female masturbation has often been stigmatized and considered shameful or inappropriate. However, it is increasingly recognized as a normal and healthy practice. Impact of pornography. 
Pornography can influence people's attitudes and sexual behaviors, but it can also create unrealistic expectations about sex and the human body. Impact on relationships. Premature ejaculation can have a significant impact on intimate relationships, causing stress, frustration, and resentment in the partner if not properly addressed. Impact on self-esteem. Anorgasmia can have a negative impact on self-esteem and self-confidence, especially if the individual feels embarrassed or guilty for not being able to achieve orgasm. Impact on sexuality. Pornography can have an impact on people's perception of sexuality, influencing their preferences, fantasies, and sexual expectations. Importance of consent. Mutual and freely given consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. It's important for all parties involved to clearly and consciously give their consent before engaging in any sexual activity. Improved self-esteem. Masturbation can help women feel more confident and comfortable with their sexuality and their bodies, leading to greater self-confidence and improved self-esteem. Improvement in emotional well-being. Masturbation can be an effective way to reduce anxiety, improve mood, and promote emotional well-being by releasing tension and increasing the sensation of pleasure. In some indigenous communities in Latin America, rituals and traditional ceremonies are practiced that include teachings about sexuality and reproduction as an integral part of culture and spirituality. In some indigenous cultures, sex education is transmitted through oral traditions and ceremonial rituals. This may include teaching gender roles, mutual respect, and sexual responsibility within the community. Influence of pornography. Excessive consumption of pornography can influence perceptions of sexuality and contribute to the onset of problems like premature ejaculation by setting unrealistic expectations about sexual performance. Intensity and passion. For some women, sexual positions involving a higher degree of intensity and passion, such as the screw or acrobat position, can be especially exciting. Kama Sutra in cinema. Movies and documentaries explore the theme of the Kama Sutra, offering visual representations of its teachings and its impact on different cultures and eras. Kama Sutra in gastronomy. Some restaurants offer themed menus inspired by the Kama Sutra, where dishes and drinks bear suggestive names and are creatively presented to stimulate the senses. Key communication. Open and honest communication is crucial in open relationships. Couples must establish clear boundaries, discuss their needs and concerns, and maintain constant communication for the relationship to function. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to laws and regulations in many countries, ranging from total censorship to regulation of production and distribution to ensure compliance with legal and ethical standards. Masturbation and body exploration. Masturbation can be a powerful way to explore and understand female anatomy, allowing women to discover what types of stimulation are most pleasurable for them. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.